Who is Jesus? Many people from different backgrounds, ideologies, and religions can agree that Jesus existed. However, the bigger question that divides us is the question of Jesus' identity. Who was he? Was he a religious teacher, a political revolutionary, or perhaps just a religious myth? Here's what's crazy. There are over 2.3 billion people who claim the label of Christian in the world today. But it doesn't take long to look around and see that almost nobody's in agreement on who he actually is. And this can be a bit problematic. Right? We, we start forming Jesus in our own image, using him to confirm our own biases, rather than approaching him for who he is, allowing him to transform our lives. So who is Jesus? Well, we unite with the witnesses of historical Christianity in saying that Jesus is God in the form of a human being. Jesus is God in a body. Th that's the simplest explanation. Christians embrace the belief that the God of the universe, this incredibly powerful, loving being who holds all creation in his hands, stepped down into our story in the form of a human being. Why would he do that? To teach us how to live, to love us, and to show us the way to healing. Jesus is not just a, a special teacher or a, or a religious superhero. He, he is the literal, physical embodiment of God himself. Jesus is, maybe we could say, God's show and tell. And this isn't just religious hype. Jesus made these claims himself, which we see throughout the pages of the Gospels or the biographies of Jesus written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Jesus' claims to divinity, along with his challenges to the religious elites of his day, are ultimately what got him crucified. He claimed to speak on behalf of God, to act on behalf of God, and to be God. Not only that, but Jesus proved his divine identity by healing the sick, performing miracles, um, teaching with a level of authority that no one had ever seen before, and, and ultimately by resurrecting three days after his crucifixion. The, the supernatural miracles, world-changing teachings, and unprecedented resurrection of Jesus, these are the proofs of his divinity. This is the claim by the authors of Scripture and the early Christian church, that Jesus is who he says he is, God with us. So, for those of us who follow Jesus, we believe that when we look at him, we're seeing God. When Jesus speaks, we hear God speak. When Jesus acts, we see God act. Jesus is the full representation of God's character, being, and will. And he shows us that every attribute of God, his entire identity, is rooted in radical, selfless, unconditional love. Listen, if it's not true of Jesus, it's simply not true of God. Jesus is also the one who invites us to step into a new journey of transformation, restoration, and wholeness. In Jesus, our Creator invites us to become the people we were always meant to be, to become the best version of ourselves. This is why Jesus is unrivaled in history and eternity. This is why thousands of years later, we're still talking about this Jewish rabbi from the other side of the world. We think Jesus is the key to understanding God, ourselves, and the path to human flourishing. In his own words, he truly is the way, the truth, and the life.